hey guys welcome back again for a new video and in this video i'll be telling you about a library called glide which is a image loading and caching library so let's jump into android studio and let's see how it works so here i'm creating a new project with an empty activity and let me call it glide application so here the application is built now let's go to the web page of glide library so if you go to this link that i'll provide in the description so it is by a company called Bumtech and the library is called Glide and as it says that it is a fast and efficient open source media management and image loading framework for Android. And if you want to read more about it, you can view the Glide's documentation. But here I'll show you how to use it. So firstly here I'll copy the dependencies from here and let me paste it inside my build.gradle file. And here I'll paste it and let me sync the project. So while it's syncing, let me go to activity main.xml and let me make my layout. So let me delete this text view from here and here I'll drag in an image view and let me select this avatar, click OK and let me give it a width of 300 dps and a height of 200 dps. Let me constrain it to the top and give it a top margin of 64 dps. And let me right click and we'll center it horizontally. Now let me drag in a button and I'll constrain it to the bottom of the image view with a margin of 32 dps and again I'll center it horizontally. And on this button it will say load image and I'm setting an on click listener on this button that is load image and this method will be created inside main activity. So let's go to the XML file and I'll press Alt and Enter and I'll create this load image view inside main activity. So now here I'm inside my main activity. Now what I'll do, I'll find my image view first. So image view, image view. And then in the on create method, image view equal to find view by id r dot id dot image view. So since I'm loading images from the internet, so I'll have to apply the permission inside the manifest file. So it uses permission and that is the internet. And now I'm going back to my main activity. And when we press this button, we want to load the image from a particular URL. So for this uh, URL, I'm going to this uh, lorem pixem photos. So it's a pretty nice library or you can say pretty nice website for random images. So if we scroll down, we can see this that if you want to get a squared image and that is a random squared image, you can go to this link and here if i provide 600 that is the size in pixels i get a random 600 by 600 pixels photo this is the lorem pixel api which i am going to use for this uh, tutorial so let's go back into android studio and here i'm going to create the string for the url and that will be this url that is to get the photo of 600 by 600 pixels in size uh, now to load this image into our image view what we need to do we need to simply call this library that is glide and then we need to pass in the context that is with and we pass in this for the context and then we want to load the url so we we can use this method that is the load and we can pass in url that we have just created the above that is the string url and then into image view and into image view is my image view and then you can also apply certain methods on this that is if you want to center crop your image then you can use center crop Else, if you want to fit center, then you can use center inside, you can use fit center and etc. So I'm going ahead with center crop. And now if I also want to use a placeholder image that is to display a certain image while the image is loading, we can use a placeholder image. And for that, you can just uh, pass in this method that is dot placeholder. And then you have to pro provide in the resource ID. I'm using the default Android drawable. That is the launcher foreground drawable. And if you, if you want to see which is this drawable, we can go to this resource folder and to this drawable folder and we can see that this foreground drawable is this foreground drawable. That is this Android logo. So now this is complete. Now if I run my application, so let's see what we have here. So if I click on load image, I'm getting this placeholder image and then later on I'm seeing this image. Now if I click on load image again, it won't load the image again rather than it will use the cached image from the application itself. 
I am clicking on load image, but you can see that the placeholder image is not shown because I provided in the static URL here. But if you are using a recycler view or something like that, and then if you have a dynamic URL, then your images would be loaded according to the URL. So guys, this is one of the libraries which I would recommend if you are using recycler view with images which are loading images from network. So guys, that's all about this video. If you have liked the video, do hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me on patreon.com, I'll provide the link in the description below. So thank you. Bye-bye. Take care and have a good day.